Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys one of the coolest tweaks currently available for jailbroken devices running iOS 8 through 8.1. All right, and before we begin, there are a few things that I need to preface with. First and foremost, you will need to be jailbroken. So if you have yet to jailbreak and you're on iOS 8 through 8.1, then just be sure to watch either of my in-depth untethered jailbreak tutorials using Pangu. And if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, there will be two annotations on the screen now. The first one will take you to my guide for Windows-based PC users, and the second one is tailored to Mac owners. So with that said, also keep in mind, Apple is planning on releasing their iOS 8.1.1 Pangu patching jailbreak firmware in the foreseeable future. So if you aren't jailbroken, just be sure to jailbreak now. Don't miss out on this opportunity and don't miss out on this incredible tweak. It's called a Turnum, and as you may have guessed by now, it does give you an Apple Watch-esque interface and it replaces the default interface that we've all come to know and love on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and open up Cydia right now. Unfortunately, it is a premium tweak, meaning you do have to pay for it. However, in my opinion, it's well worth it, not only because it is capable of showcasing just how powerful a jailbroken iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch truly is, but also if you're like me and you can't wait to get your hands on an Apple Watch in early 2015, this is probably the closest you'll get until then. So the tweak is called Eternum. It is paid, and again, it does emulate the Apple Watch interface it gives you a fully working interface too. There have been previous concepts and showcase how it would technically look. Well, this is actually a complete working tweak that replaces the default interface. And if we scroll down here, we do have something interesting to note that I just wanted to mention before we actually get into it. So as you can see on the features section, it says that this is battery friendly. So it only uses CPU while actually scrolling through the icons. This is incredibly important for a lot of users like myself who are concerned about battery life and preserving their device's battery. So with that said, let's actually go ahead and jump over to settings because once you install a Turnum, you don't get much. However, you do have a few options and you will be able to find those through the default settings app and then through the Eternum pane. So at the top, we have the option to completely enable or disable a Turnum, which you can also set up different activator actions to do. As you may have noticed during the beginning of this video, I actually triple tapped to the home button and it did revert back to the normal interface or actually when I did it in the beginning, it went and it toggled the Eternum interface. But when I just did it now, again, I went back and forth between the default and the Eternum interface. But jumping back into settings here, let's get back to it. We also have the option to use the dock. So if you don't wanna use the dock and you want just a complete universe of icons and you don't really care about having a dock, then you can enable that or disable that accordingly. So as you can see, if you toggle it, it will prompt you to respring. I'm not actually interested in toggling the dock off, however, so I'm just going to leave it toggled on to use the dock. You can also set it to show app names or hide app names for a cleaner look. You can also toggle the use of icon mask images, which are used by the themable tweak, and you can reset the icon arrangement if you want it back to default. So with all of the settings out of the way, let's get a closer look at Eternum and how incredible it is. By the way, I also wanted to mention that I'm not being paid to promote this tweak, and I haven't even been approached by the developer of Eternum. I'm merely creating it because I think it's again one of the coolest tweaks currently available for jailbroken devices. So as you can see, this is what you get when you install Eternum. We have a few settings as I just went over, but this is basically it. This is what it does and this is how it looks. Again, you can completely scroll through all of your icons. It just gives it to you in sort of a universe or a collection of icons as demonstrated by Apple when showcasing their forthcoming Apple Watch. So again, this is a heavily Apple Watch inspired replacement for the home screen interface of your device. So this is it, and in the center of all of these icons, you do have Spotlight, because you may have been wondering, well, how do you toggle Spotlight if normally you just pull down on a page to access it? Obviously, because you can't do that now, you do need an option to actually access Spotlight. So you have it inside of the center of your icons. You can move it, and I'll get that back to that in a second, but as you can see, when you actually tap on it, you get the option to search through Spotlight. I'm not going to search for anything now, so I'm just going to tap on Cancel, but again, this is it. And there's actually a faster way to navigate between different areas of the interface as well if you want to access an icon on the other side, for instance. So when you're at the home screen, all you have to do is pinch on it to zoom out 
or you can just double tap on a blank area and it will accomplish the same thing. So let me show you exactly what that looks like. As you can see here, we are completely zoomed out and you can actually kind of move it around, but it will snap back kind of toward the middle when you release it. But these are all the icons on my device or these are all the applications on my device again represented in icon format so we can zoom in on different sections as you can see we can zoom in on this area and let's actually go ahead and zoom back and if you tap on an area without actually tapping an icon because trust me you can accidentally tap an icon when you intend to tap an area and it does open the application but when you tap on an area it does kind of focus on said area just like apple demonstrated during their keynote presentation when of course unveiling the Apple Watch. So that's how you can zoom out again. Like I said before, you can also double tap and you can kind of scroll between things. So if you want an overview of all of your icons, you don't want to use spotlight search to open it and you just want a faster way to navigate between your icons. Let's say you're on this section here and you want to jump to an app on the other side of the screen. You can just double tap to zoom out or you can pinch in. I'm having a little trouble pinching here on camera just because it's kind of hard to do so again viewing the iPhone 6 plus here through the viewfinder of my camera but anyway that's how you do it and you may be wondering well how do you arrange this or how do you personalize it that's a great question you can simply by tapping and holding on the icons until you get this mode it may make you dizzy but this is how you actually rearrange the icons and then you can tap and hold and then you can bring over the icon or you can reposition it and just make sure that when you're doing this that the icon that's in the position that you want to move the icon that you're currently trying to move it to moves out of the way so it's kind of complex to actually say it or to articulate it but once you actually get the feel for it and once you have it in hand it's extremely easy to rearrange these icons so let me go ahead and show you guys what you can do actually on the outside too so i'm over here on the left of all of my icons let me tap on one of them you can kind of bring it out and set it out to kind of the corner or the edge of the display here. So let me bring this icon over a little bit more and we can kind of create some space between icons. And I really like that. I like how it's not locked into kind of a default grid setting. You can kind of personalize it and you can establish a theme for different quadrants because of course you don't have access to folders in this interface. So that's really nice and that's definitely a great touch. And picking up the iPhone 6 Plus here again, I wanted to show you guys something else. So now that we've set this arrangement you'll notice that amazing brick is over here on the outer edge of all of my icons let's go ahead and toggle this off just by tapping on the home button three times to go back to the regular interface which of course it does maintain your previous arrangement of icons during the default view and now let's go ahead and toggle the turn them back on here the exact same way so again three times and we have amazing brick over here on the outer edge of the screen again so it does remember not only the arrangement of your icons in the default view but also in the Eternum view that's incredibly important and as you may have recalled when I was actually inside of the settings app you can again reset the icon arrangement if for whatever reason you don't like how you set them up in Eternum that doesn't reset the default icon arrangement just for the Eternum tweak and while that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over I also wanted to kind of show you guys just how smooth Eternum is and how incredible it looks on a jailbroken device so let me go ahead and zoom in on a certain section here and it doesn't actually stay in that zoomed in view but it does look really nice so let me go ahead and kind of zoom in here again it's difficult to do so on camera but let's go ahead and try to make this work here all right so there we go again it does look really nice we have some awesome animations and you can kind of just play around with it if you so desire but again this is how it looks and it looks really nice and it's very clean fluid and fast especially on the iPhone 6 plus here depending on your device it might not be as fluid however it does work on iPhones iPads and the fifth generation iPod touch but again because this is an iPhone 6 plus it is definitely smoother than like like an iPod Touch fifth generation, for instance. And as I also stated toward the beginning when I was detailing the icon arrangement, you can move Spotlight around. This is one thing that I forgot to mention that I'm going to go over right now. So let's say I wanted to move Spotlight over here up into the corner. I can do that, and then when I go out of this icon rearrangement mode, if I were to go over to the side here and I wanted to return to the center, which it's now where I move the Spotlight,
spotlight icon to, then all we have to do is just tap the home button. So now it does go right to the spotlight section. So this is kind of how you can establish a center and you can kind of arrange the icons or the apps that you use the most around spotlight and that's the way you can always return to them just like in the default interface how it will of course go to your first page of apps so this is absolutely an incredible tweak i definitely recommend it and let's go ahead and take a quick look at a turnum on the ipad air 2. all right so here we are on the ipad air 2 and i'm just going to enable it the exact same way by tapping on the home button three times as you can see it does work however it's kind of cut off over here now that is because i toggled it on when inside of landscape mode hopefully this is fixed and the developer states that it works best on the iphone and ipod touch for instance although it might be somewhat laggy again on the fifth gen ipod but here you have it. This is Eternum on the iPad Air 2, an Apple Watch-esque interface. It does still look really nice, and I do like it. However, because I am inside of landscape mode, it does look kind of weird. It doesn't appear to be cooperating right now, but when it does, and when it's inside of portrait mode, and when it works correctly, it looks absolutely great. So again, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you what I consider to be one of the coolest tweaks currently available that does showcase what a jailbreak is capable of. Of course, I am planning on doing a new top tweaks video, so just be sure to stay tuned for that. And if you guys liked this video, and if you like to turn them, be sure to rate it up up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Of course, keep in mind that my next top tweaks video will contain not only paid, but also free tweaks for those of you who are interested in installing some awesome tweaks for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And if you guys are interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, then just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. After tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app, and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, earn points simply by downloading sponsored applications, referring friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, now that is it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for my upcoming top tweaks video. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like jailbreak related topics and the forthcoming Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And of course, subscribe to me if you have yet to. So if you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click on the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And then from there, you will be notified every time I release new videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.